Did you know that French women are thinner than the rest of the world even though they eat butter, bacon, cheese, whole eggs, fatty meats, and creamy sauces every day? In fact, there is a 32 pound weight difference between the average American woman versus the average French woman. In general, they look younger, they live longer, and they do it without dieting, exercising, or eating any of the foods US doctors and dietitians have been recommending to us for years. Food pyramid, anyone? So what's the secret? Scientists, doctors, and health experts call this the French paradox. And believe it or not, it holds the missing link to forcing your body to incinerate the most stubborn fat stuck around your belly, hips, thighs, and backside. This long lost diet secret was actually discovered way back in the early 20s and will forever change your approach to losing belly fat and avoiding today's most deadly diseases. The seven special super fats I'm talking about in this video can also quickly convert your stored fat into a direct source of energy, rebalance and optimize declining hormones, eliminate belly bloat, erase hunger and intense cravings, fight against today's most deadly diseases, and help you quickly incinerate your body's most stubborn fat, helping you achieve a flatter, firmer belly week after week, and that's probably why you're here. At this point, the anti-fat propaganda has died, and almost everybody understands by now that eating fat doesn't necessarily make you fat. In fact, it's absolutely imperative to get enough healthy fats in your diet to keep your hormones balanced, blood sugar under control, and to prevent cravings. You probably think I'm going to recommend traditional healthy fats that your general physician tells you to eat. Actually, I can practically guarantee they are not fats you think that you think they are. In fact, you're probably going to think I'm crazy after I revealed the first super fat hundreds of thousands of French people uh, eat to burn stubborn belly fat. They are Here are the seven super fatty foods that can help you get healthy and lean. Number one, super dark chocolate. You wanna go for at least 72% uh, cacao content or higher. We have a pretty good start to the list, huh? It might not be a secret anymore, but yes, dark chocolate, not milk chocolate, can be a very healthy food, even though it's technically pretty calorie dense. However, I would contend that dark chocolate can actually help you burn off more body fat if you're the type of person that has a sweet tooth and likes to eat a lot of desserts. In this case, just one to two small squares of dark chocolate can many times satisfy your sweet tooth for only 30 or 40 calories as opposed to 500 calories per a piece of chocolate cake or a piece of pie. Also, some brands of dark chocolate that are in the mid 70s in uh, cacao content or higher can have a fairly high ratio of fiber content. I've seen some uh, brands of chocolate that have five grams of fiber out of 15 grams of total carbs per serving. That's pretty good. And relatively low sugar content compared to the amount of healthy fats. In fact, that's one of the tricks I use to select a good quality chocolate. I look for more total fat than total carbs or about the same number of grams each. The importance of that fact is that that means that many dark chocolates will not greatly affect your blood sugar and will have a fairly blunted blood sugar response compared to other sweets that you would eat. In addition, dark chocolate is also very rich in healthful antioxidants, including a powerful compound called theobromine, which has been shown to help lower blood pressure and have other health benefits. The fat content in good dark chocolate should come solely from the natural healthy fats occurring in cocoa butter and not from other added fats. Any chocolates with added fats or other additive additives will generally not be as healthy. The reason I say to choose dark chocolate with at least 72% cacao content is that the higher the percentage of cacao, the lower the percentage of sugar. However, this does not mean that any chocolate over 80% cacao content will generally start to get more bitter taste and have very little sweetness. If you like this type of taste, then the higher cacao uh, percentage is the better. Otherwise, a good 75% dark chocolate is in my opinion, has the perfect combination of lightly sweet with a rich chocolate taste. Just remember to keep those daily quantities of chocolate small as it is calorie dense. You can also reap the benefits of the antioxidants and fiber without all the calories by using organic unsweetened cocoa powder in your smoothies or other recipes. Moving on to number two, coconut milk, coconut flour, and coconut oil. I'm just gonna batch all these together. Coconut milk and oil are great sources of super healthy type of saturated fat called median chain triglycerides, or MCTs, including a component called lauric acid, which is a powerful nutrient for your immune system and is, and is lacking in most Western diets. In addition, MCTs are 
readily used for energy by the body and less likely to be stored as body fat compared to other types of fats. Along with coconut milk and coconut oil as healthy fat choices, we've also got have coconut flour as a healthier flour option for baking. Coconut flour is an extremely high fiber alternate high fiber flour alternative. Uh, almost all the carbs in this flour are fiber and not starch. Coconut flour is also very high in protein compared to most flours, and of course, it's gluten free. Just be aware that if you're going to use coconut flour for baking, it absolutely needs to be mixed with other flours as it sucks up moisture like crazy. I've made delicious baked goods by mixing coconut flour with almond flour and tapioca in equal parts and adding slightly more liquid ingredients than the recipe calls for. You can just Google, there's tons of coconut flour recipes out there. Um, so, and coconut oil should be used in place of most, if not all, cooking oils, except for the occasional use of olive oil. Coconut oil is the only oil that can handle high heat, oxygen, light, and other things that cause oxidation. Oxidation causes free radicals, which causes cell damage, which leads to inflammation and other diseases. As a reminder, which when oils oxidize, they become rancid and cause cellular oxidation, which accelerates aging, and increases free radicals, as I just mentioned, and ultimately causes irreversible inflammation in your body. Next up on the list, you're going to like this one, grass-fed and pasture-raised butter. Yes, delicious, smooth, and rich butter. Real butter, not margarine. It's delicious, contains loads of healthy nu nutritional factors, and does not have to be avoided in order to get lean. In fact, I eat grass-fed butter pretty much daily and maintain a pretty lean physique. There's a lot of confusion about this topic. In fact, I just saw a TV show today that was talking about unhealthy foods, and one of the first things they showed was butter. It just shows how the majority of the population has zero idea that butter, grass-fed ideally, can actually be a healthy part of your diet. In fact, there's Plenty of evidence that real butter can help you lose body fat for a couple of different reasons. Number one, grass-fed butter is known to have high levels of a healthy fat called CLA, which has been shown to have anti-cancer properties, and it's also been shown to help burn abdominal fat and build lean muscle. Next, grass-fed butter has an ideal balance of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids, unlike conventional grain-fed butter, which helps fight inflammation in your body and can help balance hormones. The healthy fats in grass-fed butter also contain MCTs, like I mentioned earlier, which help to boost your immune system and are readily burned by the body for energy. The healthy fats in grass-fed butter also help to satisfy your appetite and control blood sugar levels, which both of which help you stay lean. Grass-fed butter also contains a vitally important nutrient, K, a vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 works alongside vitamin D and calcium for proper calcium metabolism in your body and is also involved in balancing hormones by making vitamin D more powerful. K2 is generally only found in grass-fed animal products such as butter, cream, full-fat cheeses, uh, organ meats, so it's hard to um, obtain from plant sources except for certain types of fermented foods. It's one of the most important vitamins for overall health that can make pe people lack and uh, that many people lack, and it's found in that beautiful grass-fed butter that we all love and we used to avoid, but now you know that you need to eat grass-fed butter and it's okay. If you have a hard time finding grass-fed butter at your grocery store, Kerrygold Irish Butter is one of my favorites. And the cows are 100% grass-fed on lush green pastures in Ireland. It's one of the richest butters in color that I've ever seen, which indicates high levels of carotenoids. Organic Valley also has some excellent grass-fed butter that's rich in nutrients as well. Next up, we have the incredible edible egg. Whole eggs, including the yolk, not just the egg whites. Most people know that eggs are one of the highest quality sources of protein. However, most people don't know that the egg yolks are the healthiest part of the egg. That's where most of all of the vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, such as lutein, are found in eggs. In fact, the egg yolks contain more than 90% of the calcium, iron, phosphorus, zinc, thiamine, B6, folate, B12, and pantothenic acid in the egg. In addition, the yolks contain all of the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, K, as well as all of the essential fatty acids. Also, the protein of whole eggs is more bioavailable than egg whites alone due to the more balanced amino acid profile that the egg yolks help to build. Just make sure to choose free-range organic eggs uh, instead of normal grocery store eggs if you have, if you have those available to you. Um, similar to the grass-fed uh, beef scenario, the nutrient content of the eggs and balance between healthy omega-3 fatty acids and inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids is controlled by the diet of the hens. Chickens that are allowed to roam free outside and eat a more natural diet will give you healthier, more nutrient-rich eggs with a healthier fat balance, 
compared with your typical grocery store eggs that came from chickens fed nothing but soy and corn and crowded inside egg factories all day long. Number five, three more to go. Grass-fed beef or bison, not the typical grain-fed grocery store beef. I know most people think that red meat is unhealthy for you, but that's because they do not understand how the health of the animal affects how healthy the meat is for consumption. Keep this in mind. Our un an unhealthy animal provides unhealthy meat, but a healthy animal provides healthy meat. Typical beef or bison that you see in the grocery store is raised on grains, mainly corn and to some extent soy, soybeans. Soy and corn are not he a healthy natural diet for cattle or bison and therefore changes the chemical balance of fats and other nutrients in the beef or bison. Grain-fed beef and bison is typically way too high in omega-6 fats and way too low in omega-3 fats. In addition, the practice of feeding cattle corn and soy as the main portion of their diet upsets their digestive system and makes them sick. And it also increases the amount of dangerous E. coli in the meat. That's not the case with gr uh, grass-fed meat. On the other hand, grass-fed beef from cattle and buffalo or bison that were raised on the type of natural foods that were meant to eat in nature, grass or the forage, have much higher levels of healthy omega-3 fats and lower, lower levels of the inflammatory sixes and nines that most people already eat way too much of compared to grain-fed uh, grain beef and or bison. Grass-fed meats also typically contain up to three times the vitamin E that versus grain-fed meats. In addition, Grass-fed meat from healthy cattle or bison also contain a very special healthy fat called conjugated linoleic acid, CLA, that I mentioned earlier, in much higher levels than grain-fed meat. CLA has been proven in scientific studies in recent years to help in burning fat and building lean muscle, which can help you lose weight. These benefits are on top of the fact that grass-fed meats are some of the highest quality protein sources that you can possibly eat, which also aids in burning fat and building lean muscle. Grass-fed meats are a little harder to find, but just ask your butcher or find a specialty grocery store and they should have those cuts available. It's also a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth it in the long run. Number six, we have avocados. Even though avocados are typically thought of as a fatty food, they are chock full of healthy fats. Not only is this a fruit, yet surprisingly avocados are actually a fruit. Super high in monounsaturated fat, but it also has tons of vitamins, minerals, mic micronutrients, and antioxidants. Also, in my opinion, guacamole, which are mashed avocados with garlic, onion, toma tomato, pepper, uh, cilantro, is one of the most delicious food toppings ever created. And you can be happy to know that it's also one of the healthiest toppings you can use on your food. Try sliced avocado or guacamole on sandwiches, burgers, eggs, or omelets, on salads or with fish as a delicious side uh, for just about every meal. The quality dose of healthy fats, fiber, and micronutrients that you get from avocados helps your body to maintain proper levels of hormones that help you with fat loss and muscle building. Also, since avocados are, are an extremely satiating food, eating them helps reduce your appetite in the hours after your meal. Say goodbye to junk food cravings and bring on that fat burning. I personally eat anywhere from a half to a full avocado every day. It also helps to keep me lean. Finally, number seven, we have nuts but only walnuts, almonds, pistachios, pecans, Brazil nuts, and macadamias, and maybe a couple others. Yes, this is another fatty food that, you can, that can actually help you burn belly fat. Although nuts are generally between 75 to 90% fats in terms of a ratio of fat calories and total calories, uh, this is another type of food that is all healthy fats, along with high levels of micronutrients such as vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Nuts are also a good source of fiber and protein, which of course you know helps control blood sugar and can aid in fat loss. Nuts also help maintain good levels of fat burning hormones in your body. Adequate healthy fat intake is vitally important to hormone imbalance, as well as helping to control appetite and cravings so that you essentially eat less calories overall. My favorite healthy nuts are pecans, pistachios, almonds, macadamias, and walnuts. And by eating them in variety, you help to broaden the types of vitamins and minerals and also balance the balance of polyunsaturated to monounsaturated you obtain. Try to find raw nuts instead of roasted nuts if you can, as it helps to maintain the quality and nutritional content of the healthy fats that you will eat. Also, try to broaden your horizons beyond the typical peanut butter that most people eat. And try almond butter, cashew butter, pecan butter, macadamia, uh, or even sunflower seed butter, even though seeds aren't on this list, to add, to add a variety to your diet. Uh, one of the little tricks that I've used with clients when trying to cut down on body fat is to have them eat a handful of nuts, such as almonds or pecans, about 20 minutes before lunch or dinner. This ends up being a perfect time to control your appetite before lunch or dinner and helps you eat less overall calories on that meat, uh, main meal.
There are many more superfoods you should eat to stay young and burn excess belly fat. You can reset your body and metabolism to burn more belly fat all day long. You can get your confidence back and become a new person, just like women and thousands of others eating high quality fats for rapid and healthy fat loss. When you eat fat burning fats, specific proteins and the right carbs, you can reprogram your metabolism and transform your body. I personally created and sold over 20,000 programs in keto, metabolism, intermittent fasting, and carb cycling. And they all have something in common. They help you burn calories by boosting MAT, or metabolically active tissue. This is essentially lean muscle, and what's the tissue that burns the most fat in your body? That's right, muscle tissue. They help improve gut health, boost your fat burning metabolism, balance your hormones, and skyrocket your energy levels, mental focus, and brain health. Here's something crazy. Over 1.9 billion people worldwide are overweight and desperately wanting to trim off those unwanted and attractive pounds. Even worse, do you know research shows that at best 80% of the people who attempt to lose weight will fail and fail miserably. Simply put, you get hungry, you have cravings, and you give in. That's it. Sure, we can try to over overcomplicate, but the truth is it's not really your willpower that's a problem. It's a negative effect that the world's most popular low-fat diets and exercise programs have on your metabolism, they're at the root cause of your cravings to begin with. If you're anything like I was or many of my clients and can't get a grip on your hunger, cravings, and willpower, how in the world can you stick with something long enough to get results? You can't, period. After all, it's not hard to eat fewer calories when you're not hungry, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that today your cravings, your hunger, and your lack of willpower will vanish into thin air when you start eating these fats and follow a health-focused way of eating. I'm not gonna pitch you any of my programs, but I would love to send you a 24-hour metabolism reset guide just check the first comment or in the description, click that link and tell me where to send it. I appreciate you watching this video. Um, I hope you learned something today. If you did, hit that like button and of course, subscribe to my channel for more content just like this one.